Hi, my name is Miss Knight, and I made this video to help you understand how to take the NCFT on TestNav. I know that NCFT sounds like a strange name for a test, but it stands for Number Comparison Fluency Triad. And triad just means that they're going to give you three numbers. The NCFT is part of the math tests that you are given in benchmarks in fall, winter, and spring. It's given to you when you're in second grade all the way through sixth. And if you're in math RTI, you're going to get this test every single week. Okay, so now you know when you take this test, but now you're wondering, why do we need a video to show us? You take tests all the time and you never have to watch a video about it. Well, there are three good reasons. The first reason is that a lot of people want to round to get the answer on this test, but that is not how you solve these problems. The second reason is that other people just get so confused when they see this test. They see the numbers, but they're not sure what they're supposed to do. And lastly, we just want to know our students are doing their best. We want to give you a chance to take this test correctly. Okay, so let's get started with our tutorial. When you first get into the NCFT, they'll give you two practice problems, one at a time. These are just to show you what the problems are going to be like. After you complete the practice problems, you'll see a screen that looks something like this. This screen has four problems on it. As you can see, each one separated by the lines looks like quadrants, and each problem has three numbers and three dots. Let's take a look at the problem that has 470 on top and 400 and 500. What they're asking you is if 470 is closer to the 400, the 500, or right in the middle. The best thing to do when you have a problem like that is to think of a number line. A number line is the best way to figure out whether the number you're looking at is closer to one number or another. All right, our number is 470, and I have to figure out whether that's closer to 400 or if it's closer to 500. Hmm, I think counting by tens might be a good way to figure this one out. All right, so after 400, then it goes 410, 420, 430, 440, 450, 460, 470. That's our number, 480, 490, then 500. Well, now I can see that 470 is closer to 500. We figured this out with the number line. So now I can place my dot right under the 500 because I know that 470 is closer to 500. All right, let's look at one more problem. Let's look at the one that has 1 fourth on top, a zero, and a one. Do you remember how we solved the last problem? That's right, we just imagine a number line in our head. All right, so I'm picturing a number line with a zero on one end and one on the other. And I have to figure out whether one fourth is closer to the zero or the one. When I work with fractions, I find it easiest to figure out where half would be. Well, I know that half is right in the middle between zero and one. So now I just have to figure out where the one fourth would be. I know that one fourth is smaller than half, so I'm gonna put that right between the zero and the half. And three fourths is bigger than a half, so I'm gonna put that between the half and the one. So that means that one fourth is closer to the zero. We figured it out. Now I can confidently click the dot under the zero because I know that one fourth is closer to the zero. We figured it out with the number line. You got that one right too, didn't you? 
We've done two of these problems together. If you would like more practice, you can pause this video and do the other two problems on your own. Now that you've seen and practiced how to take the NCFT, what are the most important things you should remember from this video? First, I want you to remember that there are four questions on every page. Secondly, I want you to remember that each question is asking you, is the top number closer to the first number, the last number, or is it right in the middle of both? Third, I want you to picture a number line in your head for every question. Try to figure out where that number would fall on that number line. That will give you your answer. And lastly, we all want you to do your very best on this test. Remember, that's the only way we'll know what you know. Good luck. Bye-bye.